Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Sandbox channel. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Earth Free Gundam. So, it's from the Build Diversity Rise. As I said in the self same video, uh, basically, this only design that I like is the self same and this Core Gundam. That's basically it. That's the only two design that I will accept. Others, mm, I think you can get out. <laughs> so, uh, first, we're going to look at the side right here. So, it's of course, it's contained the Core Gundam uh, separation and the uh, combination and we have some very brief introduction at the side here we have the information right here if you need to read them pause the video here and you can read them by yourself and uh, you know main part is now so we're gonna unbox it so now we are gonna be flipping through the instruction menu of the earth free gundam i honestly think the earth free gundam really similar to the concept of the strike gundam and the impulse gundam from this seed series because uh earth free gundam as i think i feel like this is more leaning towards like the air strike or the force impulse and then the mass fall because it's close combat so it's more leaning towards saw impulse saw strike and the V2 is mainly focused on firepower, which is the launcher strike and the blast impulse. So I really think the planet system is really similar to the strike backpack system. And yeah, that's just a little bit of my opinion. So looking at this, so we have three information right here. We have the Earth Free Gundam information, the core Gundam and the pilot information. You can read them, I'm not gonna read it. So. First at all, so at the back here, we have the customized plan right here, just like every build divers, build fighters. Uh, we're just gonna quickly look at the instruction menu. So you can really find them online. So I'm not gonna let you look at the whole thing. All right, starting with the A runner. So the A runner, we can see that it's very colorful, mainly focusing on the uh, body parts of the Earth Free Gundam. We can see that this is this is a little bit of waist part here, a little bit of um, the torso part right here, torso part right here, and then we can see all kinds of armor on the Earth Free armor, and we can see these part right here. I think it's for the core Gundam. The part right here is mainly for the planet system, and we can see the feet part of the actual Gundam. I think, but this the whole D runner is for the planet system c part c part is the inner frame of the earth free gundam and the core gundam we can clearly see that we can see the rifle of the gundam as well and then we can see the core gundam shield right here but mainly though it's focusing on the hands option and the and the inner frame of the ms e1 runner we can see that it's mainly on the core gundam perspective we can see parts a uh, very small part of the Earth free armor. So yes, this is basically the white part of the MS and we can see the antenna and the head part right here. We have the beam saber effect part right here. We also have poly caps. And lastly, uh, very less amount of stickers. It's mainly focusing on the cameras and the beam scopes and I guess the chest part of the core Gundam as well. So that's all the runners. That's all the information. Let's See you guys at the review. Hey guys, welcome back to the review of the Earth Free Gundam. So this is the not the finishing, okay? So right now what you see is the core Gundam form, which is what I would like to call Baby Gundam because it really looks like this. So um, I have some mixed feelings for this thing. Uh, it looks pretty small. That's the first thing. And two, it looks pretty weird as well. I I kind of agree with the core Gundam concept because it's... Initially, it is a very small Gundam right here. It's a very small Gundam. And then it will combine with, into the planet system to, you know, go back to the normal Gundam size that we will see. I pretty like this concept, but it's just, uh, if, you're, if you're someone that, you know, used to watch a lot of sort of the old timeline Gundam, like CE, UZ, double O, Suddenly, something this new came out. Uh, it's pretty hard to accept it. So I'll just say that it really depends on you. Do you kind of getting used to this design or not? I still need to take some time to kind of accept this design. But anyway, uh, the core Gundam idea, I think it's cool. It's just 
I can't accept the design. <laughs> <laughs> that's basically it so now the core gundam as you can see right here because it need to fit all the armor on this so one is pretty small and two you will look at the head and be like whoa what the hell happening to the scale because the head it looks pretty big uh but once you put on the whole armor it looks pretty fine so right now if you really can't deal with the head just pull it out <laughs> <laughs> that's the only advice I can give you so let's stop talking let's just look at the very basic articulation before we snap all those armor on so first uh, if we do a very small comparison uh, like the last video that I did with the gym intercept custom you pretty much look at it and be like it's not e it's like a little bit halfway of the intercept custom and that's pretty much the size of the core Gundam now we're gonna look at the articulation because when you take a close look, in this form, there's actually not much detail on the armor. It's just plain armor. So it's pretty good for someone who like to scribe the details out later. Uh, but I would just say that mm, once you put on the armor, it's really no different. So briefly looking at the articulation. So the head uh, move up, move down, and move around as well. And just a quick FYI for everyone, once you put on the armor, the articulation will get affected a little bit. And two, we're gonna look at the arms right now. So first you can lift up, there's a hidden joint right here. It just works like the Seda Gundam and the narrative Gundam that I showed you before. Um, there's a there's a hidden joint inside the torso where you can put it out and extend the arm even further. This joint purpose, one, is for you to extend the movement during the core Gundam form, and two, allowing you to put on the armor later. Uh, if we look at the torso right here, because uh, this type is only a big ball joint right here, so you can only move around. There's no like initial joint for you to move uh, from them uh, back and forth. We can see there's a clear piece at the torso right here, so it's not like the most surprising or anything like that. The whole arm can spin around, the arm can bend on a pretty good angle as well. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any option hand in this kit, so you're just gonna need to stick with whatever hand that they gave you. Uh, for the handheld option, for the handheld weapon option, we have this core beam spray gun right here. Right now, it's a pretty boring thing, but once you put on, but once you put on the uh, earth armor, it looks like it just looks like the anime. It's pretty cool. Uh, and then we ha also have a shield right here. The shield, mm, before before the whole shield complete, I would just say that this small shield looks really bad. <laughs> I don't really like it. We also have a connector for you to put the shield onto the backpack. But I would say that don't use this thing because I tried to plug the shield on it. And when I plug it onto the backpack, I can't pull it out. It, it took me a long time to pull it out. So I'm not showing you again. I don't want to break the... I don't want to break the parts before I start, before I complete the whole review. Now, moving up to the lower body part, uh, because this yellow piece right here is a small movement right here. We can see sort of like a sort of a spot here. This is for you to put on this extra skirt armor on it later. Um, because right now we don't have any skirt armor uh, around the Gundam. So the legs is actually pretty freely. You can move to like whatever position you want. And there's even bending right here. Right now you see the bending. Oh, it looks pretty bad. Actually, there's additional bending at the feet right here because the feet later will be uh, hidden to the back hidden to the back and then for you to plug in the extra armor for the legs so i would say that um, overall the articulation we really need to put on the armor before we make a final conclusion but these but this small feet right here actually contains a pretty good articulation as it can move side to side and you know slightly adjust the angle at front and back as well so overall i would just say that as a standard core gundam the articulation is is pretty good but once you put on the armor as i said it will affect the articulation that you're seeing right now. Turning to the back, there's not actually anything surprising at all. We just only see a thruster and two beam sabers. Uh, by the way, when you try to pull out the beam sabers, please gently pull it out because they are very tight. If I, I try to pull it out before I start recording the video and I almost broke the joint. So you really need to be careful when you try to pull it out because one, they're very tight. And two, I recommend you to find some way that without damaging the parts, you're gonna turn the thing out. 
because as you can see right here, I try to pull out the beam sabers and my backpack starting to get a little white right here, which is the part is starting to getting damaged. Uh, for the beam sabers right here, of course, we have the beam saber effect part. We have the short blade when you are posing with the core Gundam, and then we have this long blade right here when you uh, combine all the armor onto the core Gundam and this beam saber is specific, specifically for that situation. Now, we're gonna take a look at this planet system right here. This planet system, the design, I know it's, I know it's pretty hard to say what this design looked like, but this design actually reminded me of the Sky Grasper and the uh, Meteor Hopper from the Bill Fighters Custom. So the Meteor Hopper is the one that the Wing Gundam fan is riding on it. I know that's a motorcycle, but I don't know why that reminds me of that design as well. So overall, uh, I'm pretty happy about the planet system design. So let's take a very quick look at it. So all the armor is attached on it. We can clearly see that uh, there's a there's a small base for you to display the planet system, which is I think that's just a pretty nice feature. We can see that a lot of parts right here. So if we take a close look right here, so these this is the shoulder, this is the uh, forearm, this is the shield, uh, and then we have the back skirt right here, the backpack, the extra antenna, uh, the part for you to extend the beam rifle is right here, and then when we turn around right here, we can clearly see that this is the legs part. And then we can see if you if we turn it to the front right here, we can clearly see the torso parts right here. So basically everything that you need is on here. So I would just say that if you really want to describe this product, I would just say that is buying a planet system and then and then the core Gundam is just an extra gift for you. Before we need to do any sort of adjustment when we before we put on any armor, uh, we need to change the beam sabers angles first. We need to flip up the beam sabers. So right now we flip up the beam sabers, pull out the torso, and then now what we need to do is just take out a take out the hands as well. And then now what we have to do is I showed you there's an extra joint on the feet. So right now we need to adjust the position right here. So try to get your feet as far back as possible. So that's basically what you should do before the transformation. Now let's put on the armor. So first, we are starting with the waist. We will be following the instruction menu. The instruction menu tell us where to start. We will start from there because I'm not risking to break any part. First, uh, we're gonna start with the waist. So as I tell you before, there's a hidden spot right here at the front skirt. Right now, what you have to do is just rip off the skirt armor and then basically find the plug and then just plug it back on. Uh, it's a pretty simple process, uh, but make sure you get your left and right correct. Because, you know, as I told you before, this core Gundam actually got a pretty tight joint right here. Once you snap the wrong part, it's really hard to plug it back. Uh, it's really hard to pull it back out. So this is the front skirt done. What we have to do now is turn it to the back. We can see there's a plug right here. What we have to do is just basically very simple. Just plug this part, plug the back skirt onto into the hole, and there we go. That's the skirt armor first. And then we can see that the backpack right here, we already have a spot here for you to plug in any extra armor. It's pretty simple. This is the backpack part. And then we just basically just find a, just find a spot, plug it in, and there you go. Now we're gonna working on the other parts right now. So first we're gonna need to add this extra piece onto the hands right now. So it's just a pretty quick process. It's a pretty simple thing. You just basically find the spot and then just slide it in. It's a pretty good, it's a pretty easy part to find as well. Then we have this hands part right here, the arm part right here, which we have to snap it again as well. So we'll just very quickly do that again. So now it's all done. What we have to do now is pretty simple. Uh, we just basically have to snap on the new part onto the, onto the, uh, part that we just take off the hands. So right now, oops. That's basically, that's basically how the arms go. Now we're gonna need to do something before we put on the legs. So the spot, we already adjusted. Now what we have to do is when you pull it out from the planet system, it will look something like that. What we have to do now is just sl slightly adjust the the feet position back to uh, facing towards the front. It's a, it's a pretty simple process. You're just basically changing the direction. And then there is a joint right here. There's a joint right here. What you have to do is just put the joint into this spot right here. And there you have it. So one side is done. So basically what you have to do is just do the exact same thing towards the other side. Last 
two parts right here so we're gonna need to snap on the torso parts right now so the torso part is pretty simple you just because we pull out the joint already so basically you just need to find a spot and then just slide the piece in so when you slide it in right now it looks like this then we have this little top part right here for you to uh, fix the joint so right now oops so now what we have to do just find this find the plug just plug it in there we go and then we lastly we need to equip on the shoulder armor it's pretty simple you just slide it in and there you go it looks pretty normal right now right it looks like the act the gundam scale that we usually look at don't forget that you have this at extra antenna right here as well so all you have to do is just plug the antenna on on it it's not really that hard you just basically plug the antenna on it and the whole thing is completed um now we're gonna need to do the weapons as well so the weapons is is very simple so you can see that the coarse beam spray gun have an empty spot at the tip right here so what you have to do is just it just just basically plug the extra part into the tip and there you go it's that simple and for the shield right here because we have an extra part of the shield uh you can see that there's two holes right here and there's two spots right here basically what you have to do is just find the jo find the joint plug it in and there you have it a complete shield now it looks way better than that half complete shield that short that very very small shield right there i don't like it now this is a proper shield actually that is exactly what it looks like when you put on all the armor now it looks pretty comfortable right it looks like a normal scale right now so i'm pretty happy right now but one thing i don't like is most of the part is pretty tight i tried it uh it's a pretty it's a pretty bad thing is once you equip on the arm all the armor is pretty much like it's very hard to pull it back out so my suggestion to you is you just choose one form if you want it to riding on the planet system stay at the core gundam form if you like if you like myself that don't like the very baby gundam feeling and you want the full scale gundam uh just keep the armor on and don't pull it out ever again because it's really frustrating to pull everything back out again but one thing i do want to complain is this shoulder right here the connection is literally nothing it's just basically you slide it in and it will just basically you, you it's very easy to fall out so i really don't like this uh kind of i don't i especially don't like the shoulder part right now we can see that the rival it looks more complete right now and what i'm showing you right now is actually the full power form of the rival right here remember when you look at the anime you can see that uh, haluto is connecting the power bank into the uh rival right there uh it is actually possible to do it on the gauntlet itself so right now i'm just gonna quickly show you so you can see that we can see there's an extra part right here at inside the shield what we have to do now is just basically pluck the part onto the rival now it looks pretty cool right because you know it actually gives you that feature that you saw in the anime as well so i i'm really surprised and i'm and i pretty like it so right now this is a scale that i would like this is the sort of like an appearance that i would like rather than the core gundam and i think we go through every single thing right now everybody need to press f to pay the respect that this guy this little guy deserved because right now every single piece of armor is already off the planet system what it have is just a very very poor in the frame so right now pay your respect to this little guy right here um right now mm, it's actually pretty awkward once you take off every single armor i don't know what this thing purpose is because uh it's not good for display i guess what you what you can do is just put it back to the put it back to the box and don't take it out again so mm. okay guys this is the end of the review thank you guys for watching so uh as i said i have a lot of mixed feeling towards this gun but on one hand i think the idea is looking pretty cool and the other side i can't really accept the design but right now once you equip on all the armor it looks pretty fine and i gotta say that uh the color scheme i'm pretty happy about it and if you watched my unboxing video before, you know that I bought the V2 and the Mask 4 as well. So um, I'll, I'll get those building like uh, very soon. Right now, uh, overall, I think that this Gabler is pretty good. It's pretty unique. So I definitely suggest you to buy one and then, you know, kind of try it out yourself. 
uh, it's not really that expensive. It's around like the cheapest that I can find is actually like around like 20 or 25 AUD and then I can get one. So it's pretty cheap. It's pretty unique. So I, I kind of need to say that mm, it is pretty worth it. But one thing that I need to tell you about is once you equip on the armor, if you try to pull it out, it will be very difficult and you might have a chance to break the parts. So as I said, choose which form that you want. Stay at Core Gundam, then Core Gundam. Stay at the uh, Earth Free Gundam, then stay at the Earth Free Gundam. Don't pull it out, don't do anything else, just let it be. Okay, thank you guys for watching and uh, leave a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you click the little bell next to the subscribe button so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys in the next Gunpla review. Thank you for watching, goodbye.